Our special report makes it clear that it's not acceptable for members fearing an outcome which they don't want to level criticisms at the committee so that in the event that the conclusion is the one that they don't want, they will have undermined the inquiry's outcome by undermining confidence in the committee. I will give way. Thank the Honourable Right Honourable Lady for giving way. As she knows from our exchange of letters in recent days, I was named in the annex to that report for a tweet that did not refer to the committee. Uh, and the context of the Twitter thread is clear. She talks about members being able to give uh, evidence to the committee, but of course we had no prior notification that we might be named, and I was alerted to the, my presence in the report by the press. I just wondered what, what sort of, uh, how, she might, uh, how, how she considers that members like me might be able to seek redress in such circumstances. Mm -hmm. Harriet Harman. Well, the Honourable Member for Workington um, him named himself in Twitter by yep. calling the committee a witch hunt. And, we, and that was in the public domain. Yep. Uh, and if you yep. look at the thread that goes ahead of his uh, tweet, it's quite clear. Yep. And so we have simply put that um, in our report. We've taken what was in the public domain and put it in our report. Our special report makes it clear that it's not acceptable for a member of this House who doesn't want a particular outcome to seek, by pressure or lobbying, to influence the committee's decision. The House, by supporting... Madam Deputy Speaker, but I fear that the Right Honourable Member for Camberwell and Peckham might have just inadvertently misled the House in suggesting that I called the committee uh, a witch hunt. There was no referral to the committee. The four-part Twitter thread is quite clear that it is not uh, in relation to the committee or its investigations. And I just wondered how I might seek redress in this matter. We well, can start off by stop calling me Madam Deputy Speaker. Now, I know you're desperate for a culture war, but this is getting over the top. Now, I know you're a bit of a bell tap, and it's easy prey for the likes of lion charlatans like our Spaffer, but it's not the right honourable lady's fault that you uh, let your fingers go into overdrive before you, the dust between your ears started to stir. Harriet Harman. Um, thank you, M Madam Deputy Speaker. Can I just deal with um, his, um, his, his, the other honourable member? Um, if he's um, saying, which he has, that he doesn't believe the Privileges Committee inquiry into Boris Johnson was a witch hunt, then I very warmly welcome uh, the fact that he said that and appreciate him and thank him for putting it on the, on the record that he doesn't believe that our inquiry was a witch hunt. I will. I'm very grateful to the Right Honourable Lady for giving way, but just viewing the exchanges just now, does she not think it would have been courteous of the committee to warn those people listed in the Annex A that they were going to be listed? And that possibly, if a mistake had been made, it would have given an opportunity for people to make their point before the committee report was published. Wouldn't that have been fairer? Um, the points that we've put in the annex to our report are issues which are in the public domain yes. yeah. um, and were put in the public domain on Twitter, as right indeed then. he said, uh, the Honourable Member for Litchfield himself, put in the public domain... Mm that there was a question in relation to the committee of malice and prejudice. Yeah. And we felt it was important to put that onto the public record. I think the Honourable Member will be speaking. Oh. It is totally... Whoa, 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 whoa. Wiggy, sit down, sit down. You might have the most magnificent ferret living on your bonds. But that doesn't give you the right to go around throwing your weight about as though you own the place. Also, when you ask somebody to give way, you're supposed to wait till I say, Michael Fabulous Hair, OK? Right, Wiggy, if this point of order is nothing but a madcap rant, me and you are going to come to blows, and the first thing I'm gunning for is your spaghetti barnet, OK? Michael Fabulous Hair. My point of order is that it is also discourteous to partly quote something, actually, and what it cl Whoa, 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 Wiggy. Keep your hair on. Sorry, I can't resist. It's not the Right Honourable Lady's fault that yourself and your rather upholstered friend earlier 
You both soiled yourself and have made yourselves look incredibly stupid just to save someone who thinks that both yourself and your constituency are completely thick as mints for voting for you in the first place. So sit down and take your medicine, Wiggy. Harriet Harman. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. If the Honourable Member for um, Lichfield wants to say that he doesn't believe the committee was motivated by malice and prejudice, we would certainly uh, warmly welcome that correction.